I knew I was at my rock bottom when one morning I woke up after a night of partying with a freaking chicken tender in my bed and an empty like bag of fast food. Today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I lost 20 pounds again. So back in the day, I did this video called how I lost 20 pounds. That video is definitely cringy and definitely not what I stick to anymore. So I needed to make an updated version of it. So this is going to be the real deal, my real story, my truth, the ups, the downs, the bad, the good, the pretty, the ugly, the weight gain, the weight loss, the happy, the sad, everything in between. If you are not already, then do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it now. So annoying. <laughs> All right, sis. So I had this thing called a glow up and these are some pictures of me back before I lost the weight, back before I became confident. And these are just a few pictures. I literally have thousands. So maybe if you guys want, I'll make a YouTube video showing and exposing my old self. Trust me, I'm a girl and we just, we all struggle. Every single one of us, the people that you think that are the most confident people in the world are probably not. We all struggle with like body image issues and we just all feel like we have to compare ourselves to Instagram models and perfect fitness gurus and everything like that. We look at our bodies and we hate ourselves often and that's why I wanted to come here today and just get this point across to all of you guys watching. If you clicked on this video, I feel like there's a reason that you clicked on it. So this is not going to be your typical how I lost weight 101, drink water, do your squats, don't forget to up your cardio and do five miles a day and oh by the way, only eat salads. That's not gonna be this today. I'm not gonna give you guys one-on-one -on -one tips. You can look all over YouTube and find what works for every certain person but the truth is your body is your body it's no one else's and you have to find what works for you let me tell you my weight journey has been a freaking yo 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 I've had tough times I've had times where I wanted to give up I've had times where I felt on top of the world filling myself insta story every day multiple times a day I have had struggles I've had mental blocks I've been through it all so this time around um, with my weight loss journey I did it the right way I did it for the right reasons I did it for me. I did it the long way, the way that takes a lot of hard work and dedication and consistency and patience. The way that nobody wants to do it, but the truth is it's the only way that you can stick with it, stay with it, make it into a habit, make it into a lifestyle and actually keep your results. Personally, I just think that being confident in who you are is so important. You should be able to look at yourself and love yourself and there is no worse feeling in the world than feeling down about yourself. So, if you guys are ready, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here is my story. Um, growing up as a kid, I was just a happy, jolly, little chubby little girl. I ate my Happy Meals as happy as I could be. I drank my pop, I ate my candy, but I didn't care. DQ was me and my family's like every night ritual. Like I had super young parents. My parents had me when they were teenagers and they, it's not, they were amazing parents. They literally did the absolute best they could, but the knowledge just was not there. The health and wellness community was not as blasted in your face as it is today. And no one really knew how important like fitness and nutrition and well-being and self-love and mental health how important it actually was so growing up like my parents didn't know any better they fed me what was easy what was convenient it doesn't make you a bad parent at all but it would just be so much more beneficial to kids these days if parents would step in and really monitor what their kids are eating and live a healthier lifestyle so it's not as hard for them growing up and having to go through the struggles of bullying or go through the struggles of self confidence issues or mental health issues and even just like physical health issues it's so important as parents and as an older generation to really leak that knowledge into younger generation anyways that was like a dr carissa rant right there back to it and then growing up like middle school i went through like a skinny stage i think like that's when i'm getting taller and everything like that 
that so it wasn't that bad high school is just when like you and your body are changing the absolute most like you get your period and you start growing boobs and your butt starts growing and you start getting thighs and I literally remember like being in high school like measuring my thighs being like oh my gosh my thighs are so big because I can't fit my hands around it I just like I didn't have any knowledge high school was kind of hard for me with self-confidence issues but I really had no idea like back then I used to be like oh my gosh my life is so horrible like I'm not like a toothpick like Susie I'm <sighs> while I'm eating a chocolate bar type of thing. Like that's how I dealt with high school. But at the same time, like when I think back, I really don't think, sorry. I really don't think that I could have cared that much because I was eating horribly. I really just did not care about my nutrition at all. And not even that I didn't care, again, I just was not knowledgeable enough about it. And also something that could have contributed to it was that I absolutely hated any type of physical activity whatsoever pretty much super lazy. I remember literally like leaving school, I had early out, I would go to McDonald's by myself and sit in the parking lot and just eat freaking McChickens and french fries and dip all that in my sweet and sour sauce. Then college comes around and my college days, I lived it up, let me tell you. Like I was drinking multiple times a week, pretty much on it, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, pretty much like every day, every other day. Hey guys, I was in college and it's the best years of your life and you gotta live it up. But that is where the fresh 15 comes in and then the sophomore 15 and then you know it just keeps on piling up and piling up and piling up I gained so much weight and I think like one of the biggest parts was drinking because drinking isn't just that it also leads to running to fast food at two o'clock in the morning after your night out of partying and eating and falling asleep in bed with food I was at my rock bottom when one morning I woke up after a night of partying with a freaking chicken tender in my bed and an empty like bag of fast food. One chicken tender that I didn't get to because I must have fell asleep drunk. So yeah, college was like binge eating, margaritas, endless mimosas, like you name it, I did it. Who was I? I definitely put on a ton of weight and I just was not confident in myself. I just made poor decisions because of my lack of confidence. And the craziest part about it is that I literally barely ate in college. And that's the thing I couldn't understand. I was barely eating. I'm like, dude, the only thing I'm doing is drinking and then eating fast food late at night, one meal a day, can't hurt me. But the truth is, it will hurt you. So in college, I did go through like a breakup and I feel like that was one of the biggest parts that I had anxiety and I was like stressed out. I knew in my heart that me and my person were not meant to be together, but it was just like, who rejection. I go straight to the mirror, I look at myself and I'm just like, you're fat. I start grabbing myself. I'm like, you're chubby, you're not cute, you're not pretty. And then that's when the mental battle goes on in your head. I told myself, I was like, you're gonna lose weight. So I did, I got to the gym every single day. I started eating a lot healthier, but at this point in my life, it was a mixture of doing that, but plus a ton of anxiety. It was just like the stress of college, the stress of being away from my parents and like going to school out of state. It was the stress of going through that breakup. It was the stress of like pressure. I had just started my YouTube channel and I was like, I can't quit, like I have to do this, but like these people can't see me sad and upset and all that kind of stuff. So I ended up losing a ton of weight. I think it's different for every person like some people when they're super stressed out they gain weight and some people are super stressed out they lose weight and I'm that type of person but along with like weight losing like I had no muscle I was literally a noodle I was stringy I like looked sucked in the face pale just like no life to me no glow to me no nothing and I started seeing weight come off and I started seeing the scale drop and I kind of like got addicted to it and I can be the first to admit that I was way 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 under calories that I should have been eating I was barely eating and if I did eat it was literally strictly salad with like no dressing and I just I took it too far I would never treat myself I would never let myself like have anything besides alcohol of course because that's really healthy then I created this YouTube video that like kind of went viral back in 2016 so, um I definitely lost the weight but I just did not do it the right way I did it as a 30-day challenge I ended up losing some weight and then I indulged right after I started binge eating I went back to drinking drinking alcohol like crazy. Never looked in the mirror and was like, oh, look at you girl, you was popping. Like I had no confidence. I was just, I was just floating. I was just at this floating stage where I was like, you know, I could be better, but I don't want to take the time to be better. I don't want to have the discipline or the commitment. I don't want to make the sacrifices. 
and I was just like, I need to do something. I need to be better. I had this like longing feeling to just transform my life. I wanted change. I wanted something to happen. I wanted my life to just excel. I knew that I wanted to like meet somebody and I did. I knew I wanted to get in the best possible shape of my life and I did. I knew I had to make sacrifices and get rid of a lot of toxic things in my life and I did. I knew I needed to start working out and being consistent and dedicated with it and I did. I knew I needed to make nutrition literally my number one priority and I did. And I also knew I had to live a balanced lifestyle because this is not just gonna happen overnight. And I did. Was all that easy? No. Was it the hard way? Yes. So now let's talk about where I am today. I quit drinking. I took my veganism super serious. I have a regular workout routine and it's all about balance. Like when I want to have a treat, I have a treat. I don't deprive myself or starve myself or anything like that because then when you actually get the chance, then you indulge and you just gain all your weight back. I am having my selfish years and I'm choosing things that are going to help me in the long run. I did it the way that nobody wants to do because it's the long way, the hard way, the way that takes patience and dedication and consistency but just give yourself one year. And I know in the grand scheme of things, one year just sounds like mm -mm, incomparable to you. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It just seems like something you're not willing to wait that long. You want the fast way, the instant gratification way, but it doesn't happen it, or it will happen. You can go on a diet, you'll lose the weight. I promise you, boo, you're gonna gain it back. Also post-college, I found this company called Isogenics because I still stand by this. It works like it really truly does help you lose weight it helps you keep maintained and it definitely transformed my body it taught my body discipline it fueled my body with proper nutrition like it really did help all around after that i did experience a plateau and i was just not able to transform any more so this is when my boyfriend actually became a personal trainer and that's when i started getting into the gym once i started getting into the gym is when i have noticed the absolute crazy results that are lasting. So as of now today, I am not so focused on losing weight and on, you know, restricting myself. I'm just living a lifestyle that I have worked to build up. And so here's what works for me, how I maintain who I am today, how I got to where I am and what I did. And like I said, this is not gonna be how to lose weight 101, me telling you step by step how to do it. This is just what I did and what worked for me. First thing, nutrition. I eat so healthy and at first healthy was like oh that's so hard but you start to like get into a habit with it it starts to become a lifestyle and you start to actually like that stuff you start to actually crave it and now like oh my gosh I will salivate over hearing about a rice bowl with vegetables in it and some vegan protein like bring it to mom. Back then I'd be like, mm, no, I want some um, fettuccine alfredo with breadsticks, please. Once you do something consistently over and over and over again, it will become a habit and that habit will become a lifestyle and your lifestyle will change and you in turn will be happier, healthier, and just more popping. Next thing is exercise. Exercise has completely changed my life. Exercise in itself makes you feel good about yourself. It is scientifically proven that you release endorphins that just get your adrenaline pumping, that turn on your happy switch in your brain, and you just feel good like you've been looking in the mirror while you're doing them rdls and you're like okay oh, is that me selfie you know what i'm saying like you just feel good and there is no better feeling than feeling good about yourself and when i'm talking about exercise i'm not just talking about running your life away on the freaking treadmill because you ate french fries no there are millions of videos of people's workouts. You can switch things up every single day. You don't have to be bored. You don't have to do the same thing over and over again. I love trying so many different things, not just cardio, but weights and heavy compound lifting movements. And I love upping my weight and it's like a goal to hit PR and wearing cute workout clothes to the gym and actually feeling confident in them. Like, hi, Ryder Wear, use my code Carissa10, 10% 10, off. Yeah, exercising, it makes you feel good. You end up looking good, it's the best stress reliever. Another thing that I have done is get a personal trainer. Now I just happen to be the luckiest woman on this earth because my personal trainer is my boyfriend. So it's pretty freaking awesome. And I know that personal trainers can be super, super expensive. So a lot of people cannot afford to get them, but honestly what they offer 
is life-changing. They're gonna teach you things that you don't know. They're going to show you the right way. A lot of personal trainers can customize a plan specifically for you, for what works for your body because everybody's body is different. It keeps you accountable because yeah, you could do all these people's workouts, but who's keeping you accountable? Who's saying, hey, did you go to the gym? And yeah, you can lie to everyone, but you can't lie to your personal trainer and be like, yeah, I was at the gym because guess what? He's either there with you or he or she will look at you and be like, mm -mm, you ain't been in the gym, honey boo boo. It's good for accountability and it's just so good to have that partner there to push you through, to support you, to teach you, to help you, to grow you. I'm gonna do a little plug for my boyfriend here. Here is his Instagram, message him. He does custom plans specifically to you and I can promise you he's a lot more affordable than a ton of personal trainers out there. He also offers plans that you can buy for like 50 bucks, like super cheap ones. They're not customized towards you. They're usually like 30 day challenge or something like that. He's also releasing an at-home launch, so if you guys don't have access to a gym, you can do his at-home launches. But for a super affordable price, he will get your macros for you, he will help you with nutrition, he will give you a customized workout plan for you, and you're gonna get accountability because trust me, he checks in and he makes you send pics. Next thing, and I'm so happy to be able to say this because it is the greatest thing in the world, I eat more like I don't just like beat around the bush like oh there's a little bit of this salad I'm just gonna oops just one just one little strawberry no me and all the fruits all the vegetables give me all the bowls with extra toppings and if I want to have a vegan cookie here and there I have a vegan cookie here and there with ice cream on it thank you seriously guys eating more upping my calories I the more I'm eating the more I'm burning carbs aren't horrible for you carbs are energy carbs burn fat I eat and I eat a lot, but what I'm eating is the trick. I'm eating good, not processed foods. I am eating all the fruits, all the vegetables, all nutrient dense foods that give my body the love that it needs. And literally I, I eat it and it just is flowing through and loving my body because the more I eat, the more weight I am losing. The more I'm toning up, it's turning to muscle, it's turning to body fuel. Like. Hallelujah, praise Jesus. We are blessed. He blessed you with the food, now consume the food, and then poop out the food. That's a problem of mine that we will get to in a little bit at the end. Another thing that really works is recording your workouts. This will keep you accountable. This will help you do it better. This will help you know when you have good form, when you have bad form, what you can improve. Recording your workouts and posting them to your social media, whether you are a fitness influencer or not. Honey boo boo, you do you, you, okay? You can post because nobody's your boss. Instagram is a free platform where you can do whatever the freak you want. My mom literally used to post her workouts every single day and she got so much and support from it and she helps so many people because she stayed consistent they were able to try her workouts and they got to see her motivation of getting her booty to the gym every day and they were probably like hmm I need to get out of this bed stop eating these Cheetos stop watching this Netflix and get in there and get my body popping Whew, I'm getting fired up I also switched over to only natural supplements I used to take fat burner I used to take pre-workouts I used because I've also noticed that those make my anxiety crazy. I only take pretty much all natural supplements now. I will take BCAAs occasionally, but natural supplements I like to take are like B12, being a vegan, you do lack a lot of that iron. I also take like Cordyceps powder and Shoshandra powder and pea protein, all these different vegan proteins, digestive enzymes and probiotics, vitamin D3, like the list goes on. If you guys are interested in hearing about all of that kind of stuff, then I'll make a separate video about it. Another thing I like and that works for me is doing fasted workouts, especially like if you're gonna do just like core and cardio days, you will feel so good, you'll get the best pump, your abs will pop, you'll feel amazing. For some reason, I sweat more when I'm fasted. I don't know why, is that weird? Unless it's leg day. If it's leg day, your girl gotta eat her carbs. I gotta have my English muffin with a peanut butter. I gotta have my oatmeal. I gotta have whatever it is for leg day. I, I just gotta have. And last but not least is cooking and eating at home and how much better it is for you. Like I'm not kidding. The sodium and the processed foods that you eat when you go out to eat are horrible. And if you think about it, every time I go out to eat, I take my first bite, I'm like, mmm, this is good. And that's okay every once in a while. But after, I feel like absolute crap. It's for a reason. They, that food is so bad. You could literally eat spaghetti at home and spaghetti out to eat and I guarantee you, 
This spaghetti that you eat when you're out to eat is just so much worse for you because it's just filled with crap. So that is just what works for me. A lot of those things you could take and incorporate to your lifestyle and what you do. Now let's talk about my struggles. I have had so many. I was riding the struggle bus for a long time and it took a lot of trial and error to figure out what was wrong with me, what I'm doing wrong, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna share with you guys the struggles that I personally had. So hopefully it can help a lot of you guys. First thing first is my digestive disorder. So I just have this thing where I literally just don't poop. I've had blood testing done, I've had x-rays done, and nothing came back besides the fact that I have lazy bowels. I get super, super, super bloated because I'm not able to like go to the bathroom like a normal human being. If I wanna go to the bathroom, I have to sit in the toilet for literally like an hour to an hour and a half pushing my little heart out and I'll maybe get like a little rabbit turn like that. And I know this is a lot, but I'm just being real with you guys. So unfortunately I do take laxatives here and there and I know they are super unhealthy for you. I'm 100% aware of that. Looking into going to like a natural path or whatever, but until then I do have to take laxatives sometimes. I've had colonics. I've, I've done literally everything, the magnesium citrate, everything. And my digestive problems are just, it sucks. Definitely been something that is just really put a freaking kink in my hope. Some other struggles I have are mental blocks. I will have days where I feel on top of the world. I feel good. I feel fit. I feel toned. I feel popping. And there are other days where I feel bloated. I feel ugly. I feel like I'm just not good enough. I feel just... I feel it all. And being strong mentally is one of the most important things. You gotta just tell yourself happy affirmations in the mirror every single day. Yeah, mental blocks. You just really gotta be your biggest cheerleader. You got to love yourself more than anybody else does. And you just have to be your own motivation, your own inspiration. You gotta just tell yourself you can do anything. Another struggle is my love for vegan pastries and cookies and ice cream. I was getting a little bit out of hand. Like, I understand it's okay to have a treat. When I want to have a treat, I have a treat. But it was more than just being like, oh, I really want one. No, it was becoming habit. I was like, oh, bachelor's on tonight? Oh, need to have my vegan ice cream to watch The Bachelor. You know, you gotta, you gotta be strong and you gotta be disciplined. But if you want a treat here and there, have a treat here and there. Just don't make it a habit. Another struggle is my patience. I was definitely seeing growth, but it was slow growth. It wasn't like a shroom, here we go. It was like a and I don't like to be patient, but you gotta be patient because being patient is helping you for the long run. Another struggle is going to the gym if I did not go first thing in the morning. I'm the type of person, I gotta get up and I gotta go. If I don't get up and if I don't go, I ain't gonna go at all. Another struggle is the first thing I lose is my boobies and my booty. And it sucks, but that's where, that's where strength training and lifting comes into play so that you can help grow them and enhance them. <laughs> And last but not least, some of my struggles were this mindset. I'm working so hard, I'm eating so healthy, I'm working out every day, but I still have cellulite, I still have flabby arms, I still have a double chin, I still have that pouch. Like, that was getting in the way of actually seeing, okay, yeah, I may still have cellulite, I may still have flabby arms, I may still have a double chin, I may still have that pouch, but there's progress and it's better than it was before. I need to just stay strong, stay committed and know that what I'm doing is working and that one day I will get to that dream body. I will definitely get there. It just takes time and it takes consistency. If you want it, you gotta work for it. By the way, quick little fact, um, so many girls especially struggle with the little belly pouch right here and that is where high-waisted things come into play because know your angles and wear flattering clothes, ladies. But also, I just found out that this pouch here is actually supposed to be there for women to have babies. It's there to protect your babies when you have them. So with that being said, it made me feel like a little bit more confident and a little bit better. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I have this little pouch here, but so does literally 95% of other girls. Like not everybody on this earth is an Instagram model and has the most perfect body. If they do, they probably work really hard for it. So don't be hating, just do what it takes. And just know if you got a little bit of flub everywhere, it's okay. 
because you're popping either way. Okay, so that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope I was able to help you guys. I hope that you guys saw some light through my journey and my weight loss story, my weight gain story, my everything in between. I definitely just wanna say thank you to you guys. I get so many comments all the time saying, Crystal, you lost so much weight, you're glowing, you seem so happy, you're so confident, this, that, and the other. And I just wanna say that a huge thank you has to go out to you guys for being my support system, for being my accountability system, and being my hype people. I just love you guys so, so much. I love you guys times a million, Billy, Trillin. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye guys. <laughs>